Yes. But <laughs> that was a long, that was a long, yeah, that was a long pause. <laughs> yes. I'm more comfortable now talking to whoever I need to talk with, but I feel the pressure, especially for a, a paid engagement because you want to deliver and, and that can be complicated. And I mean, I, I, there's a project recently where I just wasn't getting a lot out of the person that I was doing this with. And it was, you know, it was a, it was a big deal and it was fine, but that's your, that's where your job kicks in and you just got to figure out a way to make it work. And then there's other people where you, you have that chemistry and that connection. And, and I come at it a little bit different. Like I really try to say as little as possible and get them and draw it out and keep pushing. But yeah, I mean, I, I do feel the way that you said, but it's more so just wanting to make sure that you deliver. Hmm. So, so were you doing the podcast before you started doing the corporate work or has the corporate work been around and you started pat podcasting? What, what was the order of things getting, uh, getting started? So in June of 2020, I, I started a podcast and I just went for it and can't really explain why it just happened. And it was just kind of one of those things you have an idea for and you just do it. And I mean, there's other things I have ideas for and I don't do, but and then in February, fast forward that following year, so under a year, I did an interview with a female co-founder and the CEO of that company called me and they said, hey, she's done a hundred of these interviews and yours is the best one that she has done. We care 40% of our employees around the country have been with this company less than two years. And so they don't know the story of what we built and for us to continue to perform and for this company to go to the next generation of leadership and things like that, our culture and everything that we do has to stay rooted in how we started. Mm -hmm.